Today, we're going to be taking a look at snap packages, what they are, and why they're so hated. Are they really that bad? For a full explanation of what snaps are, check out my video about Linux packaging formats. But for a quick summary, Snap is a universal containerized packaging format made by Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu. It is the default packaging format in Ubuntu, but it works on any Linux distro as long as it has Snapd installed. So why do people hate snaps so much and snap every time they hear about them? One reason is that while Snap itself, Snapcraft, Snapd, and other Snap components are open source, the backend isn't. This means that unlike Flatpak and traditional packages, which can have multiple repos, you can't make or use a different Snap repo. Just the Snap Store. Another problem with Snaps is that they require administrative privileges to install, which lets the Snap do whatever it wants to the system during installation. Now, I've personally never encountered this next problem when using snaps, but people often encounter long startup times and an overall slow and buggy experience when using snaps. For me, snaps have always been fast and flawless, but this is a very common complaint about snaps. Also, all snaps have their own individual file systems to further isolate them, which are mounted as disk drives for some reason. This can cause confusion when you're trying to list your mounted drives and see a bunch of snaps in that list. Because Ubuntu wants people to use its snaps, when you try to install a traditional package through the terminal, Ubuntu will try to find a snap version of that package and install that instead, which many people are angry about, and rightfully so. Forcing snaps down people's throat is not a good idea, and if I want the dev package for Firefox, I want to be able to type sudo apt install Firefox and get the dev version of Firefox. A snap will also auto-update as soon as a new version is available, whether you like it or not. Now this could be good or bad, because on one hand, a lot of people will wait a while to update their software, unless someone reminds them to. But on the other hand, some people hate updates. I don't know why, but forcing updates down people's throats is also not a good idea. Also, sometimes you need to use an older version of software in case the newer version works differently or doesn't support a certain feature that the older version had. Finally, snaps are owned by a corporation. I personally don't really care that much, but a lot of people, whether it be for ideological, trust-related, or other reasons, don't want to use the software made by corporations. While snaps have their drawbacks, they also have a lot of benefits and use cases, and snaps are one of my favorite packaging formats. Drop a comment down below if you like or hate snaps, and why. Like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss our awesome Linux and tech videos, and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.